Next joint we are going to study is superior and inferior radio ulna joint. Okay. Next one is superior and inferior radio ulna joint. It gives you two movements. One is supination and other one is pronation. Very easy, supination, the supinators, right? Then pronation, pronator, teres, and pronator, quadratus. Remember one muscle here, supinators plus biceps brachii. This is the important muscle. Even though the name is supinator, the main muscle is helping in supination of radio ulnar joint is biceps brachii. So MCQ is sugar, sure, right? MCQ is sure. Biceps brachii is a main muscle helps in supination. Now, one, one MCQ was at flexed elbow position, which muscle helps? Flexed elbow position. The flexed elbow position, the muscle helping is biceps brachii. Here in the pronator teres and pronator quadratus, the main muscle is pronator quadratus. Very easy, you know, superior and inferior radio ulnar joint is a type of synovial joint, movable joint, right? Now, one more joint that is our wrist joint. Wrist joint is an example of our condyloid joint. MCQ used to come, it is the, what are the bones look, uh, participating? So, the inferior part of radius will be taking place. Then what? The first carpal bone. That is scaphoidium. Then runatum will be there. Tricuteral will be participating. Tricuteral will be participating. And inferior radio ulnar joint. What you have to remember is that in PC4, There is no sorry in wrist joint there is no PC form and ulna. Okay, even though ulna and PC form is here, we will think it is also participating. But MCQ remember there is no PC form and ulna in wrist joint. So that is all about superior and inferior radio ulna joint and wrist joint. Clear?